Hey y'all, so today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, I got up early so that I could film a video for you guys. So I'm gonna try to get that out before we go to brunch today. And I'm just waiting on it to um, import so that I can edit the footage. And then I'm gonna put that out. And then we're gonna go to the Marsh House for brunch. So it's one of my favorite brunch spots. They do bottles of champagne. Y'all know how I feel about my champagne. Okay, love champagne. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. New hair, new me. Um, Y'all have seen this hair before though. So I just needed something quick because I was gonna do a um, video. I have some new hair in, it's something simple, but um, I washed it, of course, okay. Disinfected it, all that. And then I uh, bleached, the knot, bleached the knots and the hair is not dry yet. So I was like, let me just throw this hair on today. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I usually try not to vlog on Sundays, especially if I vlog on Saturdays. But I don't know what these weeks are going to be looking like because I'm going to be home for the rest of the week. So um, yeah, I'm going to vlog a little bit. I'll just show y'all what we do today. Not much. It's kind of chilly outside. And yeah, we're going to be downtown in the Gulch, which is really windy and cold. So yeah. We'll see, but uh, I just wanted to pop in really quickly to say happy Sunday and let y'all know that I am putting out a bonus video today. That's that bonus video that I always talk about in my intro, so it's going to be up, and uh, I will talk to you guys hopefully either when I get dressed or when we go to the Marsh House, so see y'all later. Hey y'all, so we're about to head to brunch, and I'm just going to show you guys what I'm wearing really quickly. Uh, this is what I wore to film. Um, well, I wore the top, so I have on this Zara cardigan that I picked up a few months ago. Um, it's no longer available. Um, it actually sold out in the black like immediately and then they had the cream for a while but I did do a dupe for this one um, from Boohoo in my last Boohoo haul so check that out. I also have on these express jeans. These used to be my absolute favorite like boyfriend jeans. I used to wear them cuffed um, but I just decided to uncuff them and I just have on my Boohoo boots and I'm carrying my new Chanel bag the little mini and yeah oh and i have on this brooch uh i picked this up from tradesy so i'm also gonna probably wear this houndstooth coat from shein and my scent of the day i actually mixed two i have on um parfums de marley delina exclusive and i also have on gentle fluidity from mason francis kirk john so that's what i'm wearing today you guys we're gonna head to brunch and i will see you guys later I mean, you guys, <laughs> swear if 2020 was a meme, I'd be that. I look crazy right now. Um, but yeah, I'm about to make me some coffee. Look at the circles under my eyes, you guys. Like, mm-mm, child. Wow. Anyway, I'm about to make me some coffee. Um, and also, I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole. You guys have seen this on my channel before, but I have some sausage in the fridge and I wanna get rid of that because I planned on making it Friday and I didn't do that. So I'm gonna do that today. And then that way I can just eat on that throughout the week. I mean, we have to be like, you know, conscious of just eating now. So this is a good time to do my low carb and get this weight under control. I'm gonna try. It's very hard though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I lost weight before, I was so determined. I wasn't working. It was like a full-time job. I always say this. And now it's like, there's no excuse. I just don't care to like eat the healthiest right now, like, or restrict. I still do smaller portions, which has really helped me, but I don't do no carbs. Like I have a carb, you know, I just eat what I like. Uh, one thing I will say that the weight loss journey in the past helped me with was not to really enjoy breads and things like that. So I tend to stay away from bread, even though I had a half of a pancake yesterday, but it was so good. I have to get a pancake every time I go to Marsh House, FYI, <laughs> side note. But yeah, I don't do breads and sandwiches and burgers and stuff like that just because I'm so used to not. Now, every now and then when I go to my mom's house and I'll get a good grilled cheese sandwich because she makes the best. Um, but yeah, so if I can live off of chicken wings and seafood, I would do that. But y'all know I don't cook. So this is a good time to start cooking. Anyway, let me get my coffee on, get this food prepped 
and I'll talk to y'all later. This is gonna be an interesting week, you guys. First time working from home like, well, no, I worked from home like this when I had my surgery, but yeah, it wasn't the same. So yeah, working from home for a while and I'm already getting cabin fever, y'all. What am I gonna do? I know y'all are probably feeling the same way. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all. I think the fridge is actually done. So we have to get a new fridge asexual. Um, it's cold, but it's not cold, cold. So I had to put all my meat because I had some things down I wanted to cook, but I have to cook. That's why I cooked this sausage today. And I may do some chicken, excuse me. I may do some chicken wings later, but everything else had to go in the freezer because the freezer is working just fine. But, um, Obviously, I have a white fridge, so I'm not going to buy a new white fridge. <laughs> so I'm just going to probably have to get all new appliances. Um, but it is what it is. So worst things could be going on. You know, just have to be grateful and blessed that I'm able. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to eat and I'll talk to y'all later. You guys, so due to the coronavirus and like all of this stuff, you know how stock markets going down so this is the perfect time to start investing if you are able um investing in stocks and things like that and investing i don't like to give financial advice but what i will say is invest if you have the money to lose do not invest if you need for it to turn around for you like that's not how the stock market works i mean it can, but you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the time to like get those shares because they are very low right now. So if you wanna start your portfolio, I recommend doing it now. Just take advantage of this time if you are able, if you don't have high debt, um, high interest debt, or high like super high credit card debt. That If you do, I would not recommend doing stocks at the moment. I would recommend you paying that down, FYI. Um, also, interest rates going down with mortgages. I bought a house about a year and a half ago, well, this condo, and I'm going to probably refinance because in Nashville, when I purchased, even though Nashville is still one of the highest markets, um, you know, the interest rate was not the best and now it probably is a little bit lower. So I'm thinking about refinancing, um, I'm waiting to, speak with my lender today so that we can talk you know about the options and things like that but that's just something that you know I wanted to put in you guys's ear in your brain just think about it um, I don't know everybody's situation but that's what I'm doing okay or thinking about doing because I didn't do like an FHA loan I think that's what it's called yeah first home buyer association I didn't do that type of loan so um I can definitely refinance and probably get a better deal um, and it may work out better for me, but we'll see, you know, so just letting y'all in on a little bit of the things that's going through my head right now. I know this is a scary time, um, you know, we don't know what's next and I'll just say, you know, take advantage if you can. Um, I know some people are in survival mode, some people are in like, it is what it is mode, you know, but those are just some things that can be pluses in this um during this crisis you know i'm so sleepy y'all look first of all i ain't had no coffee so i ain't got my thoughts together we'll see what i be what i've even said when i go back to edit this because who knows <laughs> i'm all over the place right now and it's early but anyway just wanted to share i'll talk to y'all later this is the casserole again you guys saw me do this recipe a few vlogs ago but I've already cut my little piece here. I'm gonna eat and get back to cleaning. I kind of cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and Hey you guys, so we're on day three of quarantine and making me some coffee. Um, I have a meeting today for work. <laughs> they don't stop so still have to uh do our little meetings and stuff like that working in healthcare, like business really doesn't slow down for this i mean it's even more you know intense so yeah just keep the people who are like on the front lines working like your nurses your practitioners you know doctors all of those people 
in your prayers because this is pretty serious and they have to like deal with this stuff firsthand every single day. So yeah, it's time for me to get my coffee in, prepare myself for, mm -mm, my coffee look kind of weird, look a little light. <laughs> uh, prepare myself for this meeting and yeah. Oh yeah, so I heard back from the mortgage company. This is my creamer. Um, this is the Vanilla Karma from Kroger. Um, and actually, mortgage rates went up 0.75%. So I will not be refinancing. So that just goes to show you, <laughs> you just never know. But um, yeah. So I will not be doing that. But I definitely um, still encourage you guys to invest in stocks if you are able, if you can, because stocks are low, you know, and you get you some sure stocks while you can. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a share or two here or there. And, um, you know, you can really do something with that, especially when it spikes back up. But don't do that unless you, you know, actually absolutely have the money to lose. Because... Why does it taste like that? It's nasty. But anyway, so let's be real, you know, we don't know how long this pandemic is gonna last. So yeah. My coffee tastes like water. Maybe I didn't put enough in there. I can't drink this, y'all. Mm -mm. Something is wrong. See, I can't. This is a mess. I just wasted this coffee. Now I gotta start all over. Ugh. Let's try this again. They need to make these in the bigger bags. Like the flavor coffees, they only have like the regular kind in the big bags. But I need, see then watch I make it too strong. One, two, three, four. That's a lot. But I cannot do no watery coffee, y'all. I just can't. But anyway, let me go on and get ready for this meeting. Good thing I don't have to get dressed for it because <laughs> it's over the phone. I do need to put makeup on and stuff today because I need to run a few errands and it's not good, but I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I need to get some non-perishables because again, my fridge is acting crazy and I haven't gotten a new one yet. Um, we're trying to figure out what's best to do right now because my dad is like, if you get the new fridge, you might as well go on and get the countertop. So I'm like, dad, I need a fridge like ASAP. I don't care about the other stuff right this second, but do we really need to be doing demolition right now? I don't think so. <laughs> like... Hey guys, so I'm off work. And as you can see, I put a little bit of a face on. Um, I needed to film a video. So that's what I did. Um, it's going to be an express haul. Um, I really like a lot of the pieces. So um, hopefully you guys are excited about that. And I was gonna go to the grocery store, but honestly, I just don't even feel like it right now. Um, and I've waited kind of late. I don't feel like there's gonna be anything in there for me. <laughs> so I may try to go early in the morning um, to see if I can pick up a few things. I just need like some frozen fruits and vegetables because as you guys saw last week, my blueberries were old, like a day after I bought them, so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I mean, obviously the days are gonna be very short, 
you know, as far as vlogging, because I'm not doing anything but literally sitting home. Um, today was a super busy day at work. I had like two meetings, didn't even plan on those. Well, one of them. Um, and again, like I said, I had to film and I'm probably going to film again tonight. I want to have a couple of videos in the vault, especially when I take the time to put a little makeup on. Like I really want to get as much done as I can. You know what I'm saying? So probably going to film another video later on tonight and edit those and just have them ready to go. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are hanging in there and not driving yourself crazy or, you know, your kids or husband isn't driving you crazy. So, um, you know, we can just do our best to like stay positive, stay occupied, you know, so I know it's difficult. It could be a very taxing emotionally mentally if you are not used to um especially if you live alone and you know you're not used to always just being alone at home so yeah but anyway you guys so um if anything else happens today I'll check back in but otherwise I'm just here <laughs> about to edit this video real quick so I'll talk to y'all later morning you guys so it's already been a long morning <laughs> I'm just now getting to my coffee but I woke up um I've been working I had to take the work from the bedroom to the little the office okay listen my job they're doing a lot so we're already meeting virtually once a week and then i have my own meetings with people that i have to do <laughs> now they want to do a daily check-in so that we can talk about things that's not work related why so I woke up and sanitized the kitchen. Let me show y'all what I used. So this is what I sanitized the counters with. Usually I just use a disinfectant wipe, but yeah. <laughs> so this is the Microband 24 hour um, sanitizing spray and it kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria for up to 24 hours. And this actually has coronavirus on it. So I thought, that may be a good idea um you can use it on granite marble ceramic tile formica corian stainless steel Pre prevents the growth of mold and mildew for seven days on hard surfaces so yeah this is what it is okay this stuff was expensive i paid ten dollars for this but i don't use lysol because i actually hate the smell of lysol um, i'll use like lysol wipes but somebody told me to try um, Lysol, the lavender scent, so I may try that. Um, I have Lysol cleaning products, but not just the Lysol spray. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, got this. They didn't even have any Lysol for me to even try it out, y'all. So I had to pick this up for $10. Just ridiculous. So yeah, that's what I used. Sanitized the kitchen. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty clean behind me. So yeah. Oh, my coffee is ready. So that's what I'm gonna do. Drink my coffee and get back to work, child. Um, I didn't go out yesterday. So yeah, that was a good thing. Um, also, well, let me see. Yeah, so I didn't go out yesterday. And the reason was because I knew today I needed to go pick up um, some dry cleaning, which where am I going? But I don't want them to like end up throwing my clothes away. So I had to go pick up, I need to go pick up some dry cleaning. And so I decided to just wait and try to get everything done on one day instead of leaving multiple days. I'm hoping that that's a better idea. Um, yeah. And before they like shut stuff down to where I can't even get it. So that is what I'm doing. Um, hopefully I can get out the house today, go by the store, go get my dry cleaning um, and everything like that. I have a package at work. <laughs> So my girl Lauren sent me over um, something. So I need to go pick that up. Maybe I'll do that today. I'm not sure how I'm going to navigate all of this. But I definitely want to check in with you guys. Um, this is day, what, three officially of the quarantining. But for me, it's like day five. So happy Wednesday, you guys. I hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. Let me get my coffee in. are so dry right now. <laughs>
But um, I'm about to make up my bed really quickly and then I'm gonna run my errands. So let me see if I can set y'all up. I usually like film on the big camera with this, but I'm letting the battery charge because I'm probably gonna film tonight. So let me see if I can actually set this up so y'all can see me. <laughs> so I know it's like boring, but I mean, it is everyday life. We're all stuck in the house. So we're all like cleaning and doing all those things. I haven't gotten to my deep cleaning yet, but I have been straightening up, kind of. refrigerator gate <laughs> but I kind of finished the bed you can kind of see it and I just want to show you guys this is what I've been using to spray it this is made by hmm, the name is written off but you probably have seen this brand at like home goods or TJ Maxx what is it Peck Sniffs yeah Peck Sniffs England it is the lily and cotton seed and the, this is like a fabric spray. So I usually spray my couch or like my bedding and stuff like that with this. This was $6.99 for this big old bottle. Before I was using Febreze, but look how big this is. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, we're gonna go look at some more fridges and just the full set, I guess, today. And I need to go pick up my tailoring. Um, I need to go pay some bills, but I don't know. I may see if my daddy can take me over there, <laughs> but we'll see y'all. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Bye. I'm headed to the Dollar General. My alterations lady was not there, so I need to call her. How, How you, you doing? doing? Hi. So I'm gonna go in here and see what they have. Hopefully they'll have, I need some water and things like that. So all the non-perishables all of them they're gone but we are at the dollar general but still it's a smaller store yeah plenty of dog food <laughs> paper towels no toilet paper i have paper towels Okay. Well, oh, found a double roll. <laughs> Let's see what's in the freezer section. Pizza. general had nothing for me now uh, we're about to go look at fridges and stuff again um and see if i can find like a full set dang can i not hurt my elbow <laughs> i really want to go to starbucks but my dad's gonna be driving and he i know he's not gonna want to stop there but i want that anyway <laughs> um yeah that's all that's going on for today Y'all, my lips have been so dry, okay? I just put chapstick on and now I have to put it on again. Mm. My skin is healing. 
Um, I can see that peel kind of working. My skin has been peeling just a little bit. The enzyme peel doesn't like, it's not harsh, but my skin has been peeling just a little bit. So hopefully, oh, he's here. <laughs> All right, well, I'm about to uh, go. I'll let y'all know if I find anything today. I'm at one of my dad's businesses. He done bought a BMW, child. Why? <laughs> It is huge. It looks like a bus. Like, it looks like a bus. This thing is humongous. Y'all yeah, can't see me that good. Yeah, but I'm telling y'all, my daddy, this is we why I don't get in the car with him. He done had me everywhere. But, options to customize oh, your bag. we did get the fridge and stuff. It won't be. We won't put it in until day. tomorrow. Now you have a friend so, in the diamond business. That's good. Shane and now we're sitting in his new car. To the savers, the skimpers, the I brought my <laughs> why does, why does to the one flyers, the, the DIYers. Like, uh, why would I fly when I can just this drive? Third or fourth car. We see you working hard to I mean, of course, some of them are like work That's why cars and trucks and stuff like that. Like with that. a great okay. high okay. yield savings rate and but no yeah, fees. So I still need to go home and record. Credit Karma Savings, a whole new way to save. Let's see how that goes. It is like 7 o'clock. It'll be a late night for me. But I'll talk to y'all later. All right, y'all. So I came home to a nice little haul from the Dollar General. You guys know I am one of their ambassadors and they sent me over some goodies. So of course, I'm going to do like a little unboxing on uh, Instagram stories. But you guys can see they sent me over like every M&M they could think of. <laughs> protein shakes we got some dunkin donuts iced coffee we got some vitamins back there um a shaver razors you can see all the good things so love hey y'all so um i'm about to film a video really quickly and yeah i already got my ring light and everything set up did my hair and we're just going to youtube like we ain't going nowhere we're just going to youtube <laughs> but no nah, i'm back home um Oh, the lighting is good. Perf. All right, yeah, so this is my ring light and all that. So I think I'm gonna do two videos today since I got some makeup on. My face is super dry because of the chemical peel. So yeah, um, but on camera, I don't think you'll be able to tell as much. I'm gonna turn the lights down so that it's not like super bright and you can see every, you know, nook and cranny on my face. But. I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll talk to y'all later. I think my lash is a little crooked, huh? Yeah. Oh, well. We'll see, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Breakfast in bed. Um, I have been working all morning. I know y'all haven't seen my face, but I am tired. <laughs> so, yeah, breakfast in bed, bacon, pancakes, and eggs. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. First of all, I cannot believe that it's not Friday yet. Like the time, the this week has gone by so slow y'all. I'm over it, like I'm so over it. Um, I do have to run an errand or two, still dealing with this whole kitchen appliance thing. Um, getting these new appliances are really gonna just throw me off because of my color scheme. Y'all know I'm kind of weird. Like I know my stuff is like white and of course we want new things, but I got black stainless steel because that's the fridge that was able to fit in that space. And I'm not gonna like that at all. I'm not gonna like that because the side of the fridge is black and you can see the side of my fridge. You see what I'm saying? So that's gonna be black. Mm, it's just gonna irritate me and I think it's gonna make the kitchen look even smaller but what can you do but anyway y'all I just wanted to come by and say hello oh I need to clean these glasses come by say hello really quickly um not much to talk about today it's burning up outside it's like 70 something degrees I'm hot inside so yeah it's probably time to turn off the um heat whoo child but yeah y'all um I hope you guys are doing well, you know? I hope you guys are not going crazy and, you know, just being productive. I'm trying my best to be productive. Um, I'm gonna be working on something um, that's pretty exciting for me. Something that's gonna require like a lot of discipline and effort, but yeah, of course I'll talk about it more once it comes to fruition because y'all know, it, or if you don't know, I don't like talking about things that are not done. Like I'm not that girl, so. Um, I'm going to be working diligently on a few things, but 
yeah y'all just wanted to come by chat for a little bit um nothing going on today actually i worked um you saw what i ate this morning i had a nice little breakfast and um yeah oh body complete rx so finally gonna start this body complete rx i have my big old thing <laughs> of protein powder here i have the supplement that they have and then i have the um b12 drops and i also have the hcg drops i had these before alone and they didn't really surprise my appetite but we'll try it with everything and then of course the little um, shaker with has like a little um vitamin or pill thing on the side that's so cool so, yeah i'm gonna try to start that uh monday so anyway y'all let me get out of here and i will talk to you guys a little bit later bye hey, y'all so it's the end of the night i know i haven't talked to you guys um all day but um i have a confession to make i did go get my nails done i know like ridiculous but they were looking so bad y'all and i had an appointment already where i had paid my deposit no excuse but i did get them done i didn't make a new appointment though because who knows what like if we're even going to be able to leave the house and apparently california is under lockdown so i'm sure it's gonna be you know spreading um but yeah it's crazy like we're only on week three and i think a lot of us are going crazy especially the ones who have been doing the social distancing um you know it's like wow you're not it's like it's so weird um but then you go outside and you realize people are like just living life as normal so yeah i don't know i've washed my hands so many times like <laughs> I've washed my hands. I have disinfected like clothes is sitting at the door that I wore out. So you just never know. Um, I am staying away from my parents' house just because I don't want to, you know, affect them. And my grandmother is there. So, yeah, it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. I just, I can't even believe it. I can't believe it, to be honest with you. But. This is the times that we are living in. Oh, I did want to show you guys something. And I know it's dark in here. Let me see if I even turn on the light. Will it help? Uh-oh. Y'all, it was so hot today. It actually got up to um, 80 degrees, which is insane. So my girl Lauren sent me over this fragrance. Um, she said that she didn't like it, but she only likes fruity sweet scents. And this is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. The bottle is adorable. It smells just like a bouquet of roses, flowers. I don't know. It's very spring. Not typically my style, but I do like this. It's very fresh. It's very pretty. It's not like a it's not it doesn't have like a lot of dimension or anything you know like the niche fragrances but this is really cute for just like every day um if you want to wear it to work and i just can't with the bottle it's so adorable but yeah thank you lauren girl for sending me this it's the cutest thing like i love it um i put it on what time around four and it's um it's like a skin scent at this point like i have to do that to really smell it but it does of course last on clothes if you do put it on clothes because it got a little bit on my clothes and i could smell you know my shirt so yeah really cute i love this well i just love the thought that you know she even thought of me so yeah so yeah here it is y'all i would recommend this for spring if you like floral scents for sure like i don't know i don't know i haven't seen my boyfriend like all week so he's gonna come over um and i guess we're gonna watch some tv and just hang out because you know he's trying to stay away i'm trying to we're just really trying to do our part but it's like <laughs> we're like well for me i am six days in because no five five days so it's just weird i don't know but just pray y'all that's the only thing you can do at this point is just stay prayed up and obviously be socially responsible. I know I'm saying this even after I got my nails done. But yeah, I do still, um, like I went to the grocery store. There was nothing there. So I wasn't able to get anything. Um, yeah. So I have a few things. But if they're talking about 
locking us down down i'm gonna need to get some more things for the house because the lockdown would probably last about two to three weeks and i mean if you literally can't go anywhere i think they did say you can get takeout and stuff but i mean if we're trying not to like have human interaction i don't know if you want people touching your food i don't know maybe that's just me but yeah but anyway y'all i just wanted to come by and chat for a little bit um obviously i don't have much to talk about why oh my fridge it seems to be working okay now i'm not gonna say it's perfect because i still have it on the highest setting in order to like keep everything kind of contained but it seems to be cold colder than what it was um but of course it probably should be freezing over if it's on the highest setting so it's good that i still you know got a new one um and that'll be it'll be here tomorrow so We'll get everything hopefully installed tomorrow. But yeah, I just had to let y'all know. I didn't like, of course, this is just the most inopportune time. But of course, blessed to be able to just, you know, take care of it. But still, it's so weird. Like right when we are quarantined or self-isolating, let me stop saying quarantine because I don't have a coronavirus. Quarantine is when you actually are infected. Um, but self-isolation -isola and mandated isolation pretty much it's like now the fridge wants to act the fool whatever but yeah y'all i just want to come by and chat real quick again um not doing much so of course if i end up doing anything then i will let y'all know but otherwise i will talk to you guys tomorrow Happy Thursday. Morning, y'all. So it's finally Friday. Thank God. Um, my boyfriend's here today, and I'm working from home. But just made me some coffee. I'm all over the place. Let's see, my coffee. Jeez. Make things happen. <laughs> so, okay. get my coffee going and finish this work day. I think his aunt has a birthday party today at her house, obviously. So I don't know if we'll do that, but we'll see y'all. This is interesting. <laughs> Happy Friday. So I made it to my parents. Oh, I made it to my parents' house, y'all. And I'm coming to get quarantine snacks. <laughs> These are, what was that, but mm -hmm. Making turkey sandwiches. You gonna show them your salmon? You wanna tell them what you put in it? Mm -hmm. That's not very nice. <laughs> We're not gonna put us on camera today, y'all. We don't look, you know, our best. <laughs> look at these sandwiches. Ooh, with some, ooh, and some barbecue chips. Mm -hmm. we got whole bag of That's gonna be excellent. Two people of Addis Day In love is one they say Salmon. Mama, tell them what you done put on here. Tarragon, lemons, butter, a little olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. Okay, in the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> she put a thing on there. I put my foot in that one. <laughs> Looks good though. Let's see. It's still Friday night, y'all. Got to get the libation in. And I made this one myself. <laughs> My this is inside. orange juice, awesome Patron. I I what else I put in here on? Uh, oh, the mix. Margarita and mix. And the little faux Versace you know, glasses. That, um, so cute. So here is the finished product. Now, we like our salmon to have a little crisp on the bottom. We do leave that skin on there. So that's not burnt, honey. That is that crispiness that we enjoy. <laughs> 
but yeah, it looks great. Tarragon, thyme, and all the other stuff she said she put on there. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So, I am headed out again <clears throat> to do a little, a little shopping. I need to go to the uh, grocery store. I have not been going to the grocery store because I just wasn't sure about the fridge, but my dad is supposed to bring the fridge, and I don't want to wait till too late until I get through with everything because then I may not have anything. So, I need to definitely pick up, like, some sugar, some Splenda, um, I need to get some more meat. I need to get some sides. Let's see. Maybe I have some pasta. So maybe like some Alfredo sauce. I have spaghetti sauce. Um, more chicken. That's my favorite meal. So all these other things is like, you know. Um, so yeah. Oh, well, I have vegetables up there, but they've been up there for so long they may be freezer burned. <laughs> my hair looks crazy. Um, they made me freezer burn, so because I could have did stir fry, which was would have been so good. Um, I got these chips from my mom's house yesterday. She was like, "Girl, take these dill pickle chips. I do not like them." So, oh, let me take my elderberry. I use Nature's Bounty um, vitamins, elderberry, and then hair, skin, and nails, which I took that this morning. And then I also take um the women's multivitamin so just in case you were wondering so i'm gonna go ahead and take the elderberry i haven't had coffee today um but we'll see we'll see <laughs> my energy is pretty decent today um but yeah i'm just gonna pray child and go on outside and do what i need to do i honestly thought about getting my feet done just in case they do a complete shutdown because it's not a lot of people in my um the where I get my feet done. Now my nail salon, that's a totally different thing. Um, but yeah, we'll see. That may be a little irresponsible, but I mean, my feet are barking and I still wanna do videos and show spring looks and show my feet. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, but anyway, y'all, I just wanted to check in really quick. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, hope you're finding things to like keep you busy. I totally want to <laughs> buy like an Ikea pack system and like redo my whole second bedroom. But, um, well, it'll be an office too because I use, my, I use the desk in there. I don't know if I've shown you guys that because the room is like not in order, but I do work in there, especially when my work gets like really difficult for me at home. Um, I do work in there. I may have shown y'all on the vlog maybe once, but tempted to do that but I looked on the website and they didn't have like one of the pieces I want and once I get started on a project I want it all done when I want it done I don't want to wait you know and then shipping is $99 and we don't have an Ikea here obviously so I don't know we'll see we'll see about that but that would be a nice project because I have clothes in every section of my home it's ridiculous um but yeah, let me go ahead and get out this door. I will talk to you guys later and take my elderberry. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to just show y'all a little quarantine outfit of the day. Just have on a nice oversized cream sweater. This is from Express, I believe. I also have on my favorite leggings. These are from Spanx. And I have on my little Steve Madden boots. I'm wearing my little new Chanel. This is my first time wearing this. <laughs> I just felt like I needed a little cheer in my life, you know? So I'm wearing her. She's so cute. And then um, my glasses are Saint Laurent. And these are just my favorite like everyday glasses. Um, I need to find my Ray-Bans because th those will be perfect because they're not as dark as these and it's not like super sunny out. So yeah, excuse the mess right there. That's some clothes I need to hang up, which is why I was just talking about getting that closet system because I'm running out of space to hang up things. So I really need to get rid of a lot of stuff, but this is new stuff from Express that I did a haul on. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, this is my look. I'll talk to you guys later. Potatoes, there's nothing here. Like they just have sweet potatoes and I hate sweet potatoes. So annoyed. Frozen <laughs> seafood situ situation, y'all. Not a lot. They have no chicken or anything like that. Oh, I may get some catfish fillets. 
Hmm. I got some shrimp. Should I get some catfish? That's a big box, though. Lobster. I got hush puppies. I don't want that. <laughs> I've never even had rockfish. Salmon. Haddock. I do like haddock. And halibut. I may get this halibut. Oh, y'all. Finally back. Got me some groceries. Y'all, I'm literally still waiting on my dad to bring my fridge. But I'm sure he don't want to do it because we're replacing everything and he probably don't feel it. I have tons of frozen fruit. I'm gonna be doing smoothies. Um, I'm throwing this broccoli out. This is, I'm sure, freezer burn. And also my green beans. I had packaged these up, but I'm... They probably freezer burn. Okay, now everything falls out. So yeah. Oh yeah, I got these breakfast meatballs. Hopefully these are good. Child, I don't know what's even in them. But they look like, they reminded me of sausage balls. So I hope they're good. Lunchables. You just never know. And then I also got some hash brown potatoes. And I got I think I'm, I don't know if I have Alfredo sauce, but I had some. But I got some large, um, and then I got the extra large. Both, you know, peeled these veins with the tail on. And I may do a seafood bowl this weekend, so I'll add that in if I decide to. Oh, y'all, I'm really not into shrimp anymore, but my boyfriend likes shrimp in his seafood bowl, so we'll see. So here are my crab legs. It's like, what is it, a pound? Oh, 0.75 pounds. But that's enough for me. And this was $11.94. I forgot I bought some chicken strips. I found these at Aldi. These are breast fritters. <laughs> so made with white meat chicken. I said, why not? You never know. And these are my fries. I got seasoned and crinkle. It's so funny, I'm gonna gain so much weight, y'all, because I don't even eat fries like that unless I'm out. But for some reason, I just felt like I needed them. Where am I gonna put you? All my meat is over there. I got steak, chicken, pork chops, and I only have a little bit of wings left, which is my favorite, but they didn't have any, so. That's that. Also picked me up an onion. I got some deli meat. This is what they had, natural choice. I always just try to get like the organic kind because I don't know, meat is weird, but uh, this is by Hormel, natural choice oven roasted deli turkey. And then I got some provolone cheese. So I may do like some, you know, turkey sandwiches grilled of course. Yeah, I was super low on my sugar. So I'm glad I was able to get a little, what is this? Four pound bag. Let's put that in there. This lasts me for like, when I moved in here it was September and we are in March. So it lasts me a while. I don't use a lot of sugar. That's that, and I still have a little bit left in here, so I'll just put that up. Oh, maybe, no, I don't wanna overdo it. Y'all, they didn't even have any Splenda, so I'm having to put sugar in my coffee, which sucks, because I drink coffee every day. That's a lot, you know? But it is what it is. Oh, I had peanut butter, wow. Is this old, though? And I have rice up here. How does this expire? Because I just bought some more. August 2020. Oh, it's about to expire. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Oh, and y'all. Oh, my God. 
white bread. I have not had white bread since I was like three or four years old. Like this is crazy. They had no wheat bread. So I just picked up some white bread. Like definitely have to toast this. Like I, there's no way I can eat just like white bread. That's crazy. Just like the, it's so doughy, you know? I usually like honey wheat, but honey, look, beggars cannot be choosers because we are all in need. <laughs> oh, most important. Hot Cheetos, duh, like has to get some hot Cheetos. And I also got a new wine. I'm scared. They didn't have the wine that I like. So I picked up this wine, Sutter Home Sweet Red. I hear Missy Lynn talk about this a lot. It's like her favorite. So I hope this is not too sweet. I was scared to try like the others though. Cause I don't know. I like a little sweetness, but not like overly sweet. So. They had no Cabernet. The only thing they had was Shiraz. Shiraz and like other things I wasn't familiar with, like velvet cup, red velvet cupcake. And you know, they had rose and stuff like that. So I was like, I'm not doing that. but anyway, y'all, I'm about to probably make me some cereal, a little snack until I figure out what I want to eat for real. Wash my hands. Look how ashy my hands are from washing them and sanitizing them all day. Um, and then yeah, I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. Bye y'all.